Greetings, and welcome to Oro CRM's video tutorial series. This is Rhonda with Oro CRM, and today I'll be demonstrating how to import and export records using Oro CRM. Oro CRM allows users to export and import lists of information in CSV format into Oro CRM. You can import lists of accounts, customers, contacts, leads, and opportunities. Oro CRM provides a pre-formatted template on each of these grid pages for you to download the template file, populate, and then import into Oro CRM. A user may want to export records to a spreadsheet so they can do several updates at once and then re-import. Another scenario might be that they want to export only a list of a group of records that are filtered. For more information on filtering, please see the video in the Media Library. We can demonstrate importing and exporting by accessing the Contacts grid. Select Customers from the main menu and then use the drop-down to select Contacts. You can export records two ways. To export all the records in the grid, click on the Export button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. A flash message displays with the message that the export has been started successfully and you will receive an email notification when it's complete. To export a list of filtered records, use filters to narrow down your search results. Additionally, you can access one of your saved filtered grids or a grid that was shared with you by clicking on the drop-down next to the grid name. Click the Export Grid button on the left side of the screen above the grid header. You have the option to export to a CSV or an XLSX file. Again, a flash message will display with the message that the export has started successfully, and you'll receive an email once it's complete. When you receive the email, it will include a link for you to download the export. Click on the download link to download the export. When you access the spreadsheet, you'll notice it's an exact replica of the filtered grid. You might also notice some blank columns. A user may want to, for instance, add all the Skype IDs that they could through the spreadsheet and then upload it back into Oro CRM instead of accessing each record and updating it individually. To import records, navigate to the grid you want to import records to. If you would like to add new records, it's best to download a blank template first. If you want to update existing records, first export out a list, make your changes, and then re-import. To download a template, use the drop-down on the Import File button and select Download Data Template. Open the template and you'll notice that there are an exact replica of the contact fields available, as well as a single record to help guide you. Just as when you create a manual record, there are mandatory fields that must be specified for each record. If you don't want a particular column updated, you must remove that column header. Failing to do so may override a field of information with blank information and cause you to lose data. Note that when you download a template or export a list to CSV, the spreadsheet will contain columns of related data. For example, if you export accounts from the accounts grid, there is columns in the CSV for addresses. This is because contacts are related to accounts. If you update address information on the record, that information is also updated for the contact when importing. When you're ready to import a file, return to that specific grid in Oro CRM and click the Import button to upload the file. A dialog displays asking you to choose a file from your computer. Select a strategy. Users are given the option to add and replace records or just add records. If you are updating an existing list, it's best to select add and replace. Choose add records when you're importing a list of new records. When you submit your import, a flash message will display to let you know you've submitted the import successfully and will receive an email upon completion. The email contains details of all the records that were imported, including any error that may have happened during import. Additionally, you'll have a link to the error log. Thanks for watching. For more video tutorials, please check out our website at www.orocrm.com/media-library.